this tutorial here, we're going to show you how to create a test in Blackboard. So first thing I want you to do is once you get logged into your course, I'd like you to go up and mouse over assessments. And here you'll see test. Test is a common word here for quiz, exam, or test. So if you're creating one of the three, you'll want to click on test. When you click on test, it's basically ask you to name the test. So you're going to click on create new test and so forth. So this is one way of actually creating a test. The thing about creating a test here is that you're actually in your weekly assignment. And if you're in a weekly folder and you create a test, you're going to have to go through the whole creation process, which means you're going to have to create the quiz and then set its options to show the day that it's going to be presented. You might set a password. You might tell it how many points, things like that. But anyway, this is one place to actually create a test. This is not where I go to create a test uh, in Blackboard because, again, this is going to make me deploy the test in the appropriate week that I'm in. And sometimes I'm not ready to deploy a test. I just want to get it started. I may not complete the quiz. I might get five or six questions in and then come back an hour later and do a five or six more questions, uh, however. So anyway, on the left side of the screen, scroll down until you get to course tools. If you scroll down a little bit more, we're going to go down to test, surveys, and pools. Here I can click on tests. This is where I can actually now create a test that, it, that will not be deployed out to the students. It's just here waiting for me to deploy it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Build Test. The test name here, we're going to call this Chapter 1 Quiz. And when you create a quiz or a test or an exam, you want to be sure to give enough information about the quiz to satisfy, satisfy the uh, student's curiosity here. So this is going to be a 20-question test. Uh, you in here, you're going to see uh, multiple choice, true, false, and fill in the blank. Okay, so anyway, that's enough to get us started here. We can always come back and edit this. So once you get this information filled in, you're actually done. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there's nothing else to actually um, provide. So let's hit submit. Once you hit submit, you're now at the screen where you can actually create questions. Um, if you have a test bank from your text textbook, you can click on reuse question and click on find questions. And this is if you want to choose individual questions. If you want to create a test based on a pool, so if you you have a pool with, that has like 50 questions in it and you want to give a quiz based on 10 questions of the 50, then we can choose Create Random Block. That is creating a quiz from a pool. So if you have 50 questions and you have 10 questions on the exam, it's possible that five students could have 10 different questions. So this is a good way to uh, combat uh, cheating and a good way to set up a good rounded out uh, quiz. All right, so now what we need to do is click on Create Quiz and come down and choose the type of question that you're uh, wanting to use. So let's do a fill in the blank. When it comes to the question title, you don't need to fill that in. Uh, so I'm just going to click on the question text here. And um, what I'm going to do is just put 10 or so lines uh, underneath, and I'm going to put uh, known facts that can be recorded and that have implicit meaning. Okay, so once you get your question typed in, you're going to uh, scroll down the screen, and here you'll see your answers. And for the answer here, I'm going to put in uh, data. Uh, I'm not going to make it case sensitive. I'm just wanting data, whether they put a capital D, they put it in all case, all caps, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's case sensitive or not. So uh, it's going to be, need to be an exact match. It's got to say data. This is the only word we're looking at, which goes along with the content in chapter one. So if we come down, we can scroll down and hit submit. And here you can see your first question. 
So we're going to come up and add another question, and I'm going to do another fill in the blank. Again, I don't need a question title. I'm just going to go ahead and put my question in. What does DBMS stand for? And again, it's going to be a fill in the blanks. So we're going to need to have data base management system. There's our correct answer. Again, I don't have to do anything except go down to the bottom and hit submit. Now, your goal here is to go through and create 20 questions based off of some questions you might have out of the chapter, the back of the chapters. Um, you may have some questions of your own that uh, uh, don't come from the textbook, which is okay. Feel free to make up any uh, text uh, test questions that you'd like, as long as it fits the material and meets our learning objectives for the course. So anyway, this is a good way to, uh, the, the, my favorite way to create a test is just by going to test surveys and pools under course tools. So again, what I want to do is go down to the bottom, just click OK. I'm not going to worry about doing the total 20 questions. And you see here, I now have a chapter one quiz. And it's also not deployed. So, and again, you can come through and, and create all your chapter quizzes here. Uh, you don't have to deploy them out to the students, but uh, what we do now is if we're ready to deploy this test out to the students, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the appropriate week, and again, I'm going to go week two, and I'm going to build an assessment. I'm going to build a test. You'll know that chapter one quiz is in the list, so all i got to do is click on it. We've already made it. So right now we're worried about the deployment phase of this, so I'm going to click Submit. Now, here is where I can come in. I got 20 questions, and oh, I want to allow multiple temps. Uh, I do, and I'm going to use the highest result for the last grade. I'm going to make them complete it in one setting. They can't stop and come back. I'm not using any display or, uh, before, uh, display after display until uh, tool here because um, I just want it to be available to the students once it pops up. Uh, make it available. Yes, we'll make this available to the students. So you can see, if you just come to the top of this here and come down, you should be able to um, do everything okay. So uh, I'm going to go to the bottom and all at once. So I'm going to deliver all the questions all at once. You could deliver them one at a time. Now, I don't do prohibit backtracking because uh, some students may go to the next question thinking that they're going to come back, and if they're not explicitly told, that backtracking is prohibited. You'll notice that some students will get mad. And, you know, they'll probably want to end up retaking the test uh, because of that. So anyway, I just don't do prohibit backtracking. And then uh, randomized questions. If you're in a classroom uh, where you've got 20 students sitting close together, you may want to deploy the random questions uh, tool here so that uh, no student sees the same question at the same time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get and hit submit. And let me go ahead and cover uh, one more thing. I'd like to go back, uh, and you can see down here, now chapter one quiz is deployed. If I click on it, I can begin the test. And this is what the test quest, uh, what the quest, the test would look like to the students. So I'm gonna go back over here to uh, test surveys and polls. I'm gonna leave this page because I'm actually leaving a quiz. I'm gonna go to tests. I'm going to edit the chapter one quiz. And there's some things that I missed here. Uh, so for example, if you're gonna have 20 questions and you want them to be worth five points each, so you notice here these are worth 10. So right here, just do a select all, make this worth five points and do an update. And you'll notice that over here, all of these will change to five points. So once you get all your questions in, then go to the uh, points value, and you want to try to get this to equal 100. So uh, it doesn't have to be 100, but again, we want to try to get our test to be uh, in good even numbers that students can swallow pretty easy. So, uh, But anyway, you can see here I can choose select all, and then I can change the point value of each question, and click update, and it will update all of the questions over here. And when you're done, just click OK. And that is it. So if you have any questions, please give me a call. Uh, I'll be glad to walk this uh, through with you. Also, if you have join.me uh, or GoToMeeting, uh, which is a screen sharing tool, we can use that to 
uh, share screens and I can see what you're doing and we can walk it through that way. So before you do call and you want to do a screen share, make sure you have all that set up and running. And anyway, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you. Thank you.